what's up guys, this is Eon from Van Pelt, and uh, today we're going to be taking a look at, well, not this guy, but this is a video request from, uh, let me, let me do this in a way that you guys can see, but, yeah, we get SH Figure Arts, Common Rider, it's a guy that I know, and, uh, Super Spartan 52. You wanted to see my TMNT figs. This is not a TMNT fig, but for anybody that's watching this, and you're a big fan of Mini Mates. Lobo. Let me get the light into this. This Lobo Mini Mate is so badass. I got him for around like 50 cents. So if you can get him for a very good price, um, pretty sure they're not going to have 50 cent Lobo Mini Mate figures on eBay. But yeah, if you can get them for a really good price, then I'd say get them. Don't hesitate. Especially if you're a big fan of Mini Maids, or if you're just a big fan of Lobo. I'm a big fan of Lobo, and I know that Lobo stuff does not come cheap. I'm looking for the uh, DCUC uh, Lobo, and until I get that, my life will not be complete. Alright, so anyway, TMNT figures. Uh, I have, I have a couple, I thought I had a lot of, I know I have more TMNT figures. These are just the ones I could find, are the ones that I have with me, because the other ones are probably in storage somewhere. I, I had like... Here's the problem with TMNT figures for me. I, I like TMNT. It's one of my things growing up that I loved. But uh, I can't remember names for crap except for Donatello, Michelangelo, uh, Leonardo, and Raphael. Those are the only four that I can remember. Splinter, of course, Shredder, the foot. Um, those are like the only things that I can remember except for some other people. And uh, But these crazy guys, I, I don't remember any. Oh, Bebop, Rock City. Um, some of them is just like, uh, I don't know your name, you know? And, uh, that's the problem. Second, the second problem I have with TMNT figures is that there's just so many, and I like a lot of them. And it's just, like, it's expensive, too. TMNT figures can get expensive sometimes. They're really cool, though, and I'm the kind of guy that has to have his TMNT figures complete. There are certain figures that, like, the Toy Biz X-Men figures, I can have those, like, I don't, I, I can have those loose without any accessories, that's fine. But TMNT figures, for some reason, I have to have them complete, or else they're not really a TMNT figure for me. Especially when they're missing the belt. So, yeah. Here's a look at, from, request from Spar Super Spartan 52. Here's a look at my TMNT figures. First up, we got, I think it was like, it was 2000 era. Um, Leonardo, he did have swords, he had some accessories. And, he did have lines. And, what you do is you match up the lines from the arms onto the lines of his body. You push them down, let them go, and you do a backflip. And yeah, that was pretty damn cool. This 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 is a pretty damn cool toy. And this is one that I had from my childhood. So yep, yeah, that's numero uno. Second, we have another two thousands arrow figure. I, I have no this is um I believe this is a Mikey in the superhero outfit. Because I'm pretty sure none of them except for Mikey would do this. And this is about the right skin color for Mikey on the series, as you can see, Leo has a very different skin color. Bring the light over here. Leo has a very different skin color than Mikey. So yeah, but Mikey, you know, articulation on Leo, articulation head. Can't really rotate that much, but you know, it's still good. Arms can do about. They can do almost. Th yeah, they can do about a 360. If you're going this way, if you're going that way, they're not going to do a 360. And legs, they push back, so he can do the flip. Oh, crap. Oh, that's why. Yep, I forgot to line up the little notches. And the back. He does, he does a flip. This is the second TMNT figure. I don't remember what, what he was called in the superhero outfit. But I believe this is Mikey. I don't, ha I, don't, I don't even remember if he came with any accessories. I remember really, really liking this figure, though. Superheroes and TMNT, two of my favorite things when I was little. I fell. You, you just fell. Why, why would you guys fall? What's up with that? You, you guys just fell. You, you just like, didn't even... Oh, well. But, you know, it was, it was still pretty cool. And, uh... <sighs> Superheroes, TMNT, <sighs> this figure. So, it's always been a really cool figure to me. Alright, that's Numero Dos. The third figure we have, this is one of those characters that I don't remember the name for a crap. You got this chameleon dude, skater dude, from the first TMNT line. 
he, he was, he's cool, you know, I, I like this guy, but, uh, I don't remember what the hell his name is, head, oh, articulation on this guy, head can rotate 360 degrees, can't go up or down, arms can come out, rotate at the elbow, rotate at the wrist, legs can go up, and they can turn no articulation in the leg whatsoever besides that, um, so yeah, articulation on this guy, head rotates full 360, arms can rotate, Full 360, ball jointed legs, and he does have a ball jointed tail, so that's pretty cool. And now uh, this guy's pretty cool, you know. The sculpt on him is really cool. I, I like these old TMNT figures. It's just that I need to have them complete, or to me they don't feel like a real TMNT figure. So aside, all right, here this guy. I remember, this is Yasagi, I believe, and uh, this is a cyborg Yasagi, which was one of my favorite toys growing up, Yusagi, because, Cyborg Yusagi, because I always remember, I used to, when I was little, I wasn't one of those kids that played with his toys, by the book, I kind of just mixed and mashed my toys, and he was the evil space robot ninja, that they had to kill, and this isn't, oh, uh, yeah, so that Yusagi, um, that's not the only Yusagi that I own, I saw in the, uh, regular Yusagi, but I don't have any of his armor, so yeah, here you see two Yusagis, Side by side. Okay, okay, anyway. But yeah, Yusagi's um, articulation for these guys, it's both the same, really. Head can rotate 360. Arms rotate 360. Rotate at the elbow. Legs are on a ball joint. That's pretty much the same thing for both of them. See, I'll put the two Yusagis aside. And, uh... Okay. Next up we have... I don't even remember what number that is. I can't count. You know, I didn't go to grade school. No, I did. Um, but yeah. Here we have a uh, Splinter. And I don't have his robe or his staff. Kind of pisses me off. Because, you know, he, he just looks like a rat now. Yeah. Anyway, but yeah, so articulation for Splinter though, head can rotate 360 degrees, arms can rotate 360 degrees, arms can rotate at the upper wrist, it looks like, no, forearm, um, legs can go in, they can go out, no, and tail can swivel, so, uh, Splinter though, it's a pretty cool figure, you know, uh, I like Splinter, not as much, but you know, He's still cool. Um, alright, this next guy, he's one of my favorites, but, you know, as soon as I say this name, you'll probably get it. Rocksteady, he's always been my favorite of the two. So, yeah, here's Bebop, and Bebop is, I believe, one of my, he's probably number two on my favorite TMNT figures that I owned. Um, of course, number one, well, no, number three, because I did own Scratch for a while. I owned Scratch, and I got him for a very, like, I got him for pretty cheap price, and then I sold him, and, uh, kind of makes me, I didn't realize that, how much he was wanted, and it makes me really mad now that I look back, and I'm just like, why? Urgh. Oh, it's alright, though. All you people that are mad out there, I know it will cheer you up. Okay, so, yeah, but, he's number three, one being Scratch, two being Rocksteady, and... This guy, so, he just fell. So, yeah, rock steady. Articulation, head can rotate 360 degrees. Arms can rotate 360 No, they can, I kind of rotate. No, you, they, they don't rotate. They're at about, I'd say, uh, a nice 180. Um, arms can rotate. Legs are on a ball joint. And that's rock steady's articulation. This aside. Next figure we have, Michelangelo. And he's actually the one of the more complete figures that I have. Because head can rotate 360. Arms can rotate 360. This is not why he's one of the most... Yeah, I don't know why it looks red. If it does look red, then I'm sorry. But it is Mikey. Um, you can tell by the nug trucks. And this is what I mean by complete. I don't mean by all that extra, all the other extra crap that they can throw in. I mean that they have to have their core weapons. And if they don't have that, then for me, it's not like... It's it's not complete. I and mean, they're not really a TMNT figure. So, yeah. Articulation, head can rotate 360. I think you get it. So, Mikey... Alright, we 
also have, oh, this is another one of those guys that I can't remember his name for crap. I call him Kung Fu Panda, because really, I, I, what the hell is his name, you know what? Okay, okay, so anyway, I don't remember his name at all, but he is pretty cool, I call him Kung Fu Panda, and, uh, yeah, they just fell. Uh, just like you guys. This is you guys. Ah! But yeah, here he is. And he's on my list of TMNT figures that I own. Here we have Donatello. And this is what I mean by all that extra other crap that they throw in these weapons. But he doesn't have any of, he doesn't have the belt and he doesn't have his core weapon. So this is what I mean by it doesn't feel like a complete turtle figure. And it like, like kinda of pisses me off when that this happens because you know, it's like you kinda have a TMNT figure with the weapons, because if it's not, it's just like it's just a turtle with a bandana and some knee pads and elbow pads and uh on steroids. That that's basically what it is if you don't have the weapons or the belt. And uh yeah, so but that's that's what I think of it. But uh yeah, so, moving on, we have, oh, remember when I told you guys about my favorite TMNT figures? Yeah, well, I lied, um, I think that's, uh, one of my favorites last, but here we have Raph, Raphael, uh, he was, Leonardo's always been my favorite, he's been a close second, cause, him and Mikey have been a close second, Donatello's been my last, I like them all, but, you know, Raph is just aggressive, and I like that, uh, it's, it's pretty cool, you know? Um, yeah, Raph, but he doesn't have any of the core weapons, and lastly, my favorite, one of my favorite TMNT figures of all time, and I, I believe that they came out with him in the 20-something anniversary, 25th, I believe, where they released a new party wagon, or the party van, and they released, like, Rachel, which you can still find in My Toys R Us, you don't, what the hell's wrong with you guys, alright, so, anyway, Take a look, Casey, and Casey, Casey Jones, he is one of my favorite figures ever, not because he, he's wearing girls yoga pants, but because he's just really cool, and, uh, I just really like them, I still, this, the bag is the only thing that I have, though, um, nothing in the bag at all, but, uh, weapons would get stored inside of here, and, you know, it would, it would be kind of a loose fit. But it would still, it'd get the job done, you know? It'd get, it'd get the job done. Um, so, uh, yeah, there's Casey. And those are all the TMNT figures that I have. So, uh, yeah. That's his peace out to Super Spartan. Super Spartan 52. Um, shout out to him. Go sub. He's a really cool dude. Uh, he likes TMNT. And, uh, here's my TMNT figures. I have more. I have that kangaroo Australian dude. Um, I have a gorilla. Uh, I, I need to find them, though. I don't know if I sold them or not, but, because TMNT figures, I'm not, I'm not gonna, I don't think I'm gonna buy any more of the vintage TMNT line. If anything, I'm gonna probably pick up the, uh, classics from the new Playmate series, and probably the, just the main cast from the, uh, new cartoon, because that third toe is kind of bugging me. But, uh, if, yeah, and if anything, I'm probably gonna pick up the NECA series, too. But, uh. Those are my TMNT figures. Peace out. I'm your man, freaking Pelt. And go buy this Lobo and sub to Super Spartan 52. Peace.